Good morning, welcome to day three. Uh, it's a bit later than it was yesterday when I started. Everything's covered in condensation and heavy and wet. So I came into the kitchen uh, on the campsite, which is just there, here at um, Windshields campsite. Had a coffee, laid everything out, packed properly. Feel better now. Right, gotta work my way for the first mile back up to the ridge uh, at Steel Rig. Here we go then. Well, I mean, this is a kickstart to the day. Good morning. What a view. The rather romantically named Mile Castle 39 on the ridge here. Wow. It would have been an even better shot last night with that beautiful light and the sun behind me to light up that tarn in blue. But uh, I'm not complaining. Here's the famous Sycamore Gap from the Robin Hood film, Prince of Thieves, Kevin Costner. What a classic, not. <laughs> I only saw the film once and that was enough for me to be honest. But <laughs> I remember this bit, I think that scene was based in the south of England. And Kevin Costner says, uh, we'll be in Nottingham by nightfall, with his typical uh, English accent. Uh, but what he didn't know was the M1 wasn't even built then. Looking back, that's Crag Luff with the wall going up through the trees and up on top of the crags there on the left. And in the distance, peeking up, you can see Windshield Crags, which is the top I came over at the end of yesterday. Another little down and up, but they're short. They're sharp, but short, so it's manageable. Shall we, uh, shall we build the wall around the side of this one, sir? Might be a bit easier. No, straight up and straight down. Another one of the classic postcard views. Super. This is the west gate to the major fort of Howsteads or Vercovicium. I prefer the Roman names actually. That colourful feature over there is a, obviously a temporary thing for this summer. But um, this fort w had 1,000 soldiers garrisoned here. That's just an astonishing number of people for those times. Just think about housing them and feeding them and all of the um, the hospital that they had built here and the granary and all of the other administrative buildings not to mention fighting all of the Picts astonishing this is the south gate much bigger than all the other places I've seen so far the whole site is about the same size as a modern football ground
yeah I know but apart from the forts and the wall and the turrets and the mile castles and the water supplies and the aqueducts and the granaries and the hospitals and the roads oh yeah don't forget the roads what have the Romans ever done for us? Looking back to the fort, that uh, scaffolding colourful structure on the top must be a representation of where the north gate stood and it must be pretty much the scale. God, it looks impressive from here doesn't it? I'm about 50 feet lower. Imagine how it must have looked with the wall 15 feet high all the way along as well. Marvellous. Looking back again to Vercovicium, just behind that first line of trees. The views on this ridge just go on and on and on. It's the ridge that keeps on giving. Again, looking back across to the ridge, you can see the roller coaster. You can see Vercovicium with that recreation of the tower there between the trees. And you can see the ridge goes on, up and down, up and down to steel rig and then the high point windshields crags what a viewpoint another trig point this is sewing shields crags and the view from this point that we start to head downhill to much flatter lands you can see in the distance and the going should become a bit easier but what a lot is packed into that believe it or not everything I've done this morning is only like five or six miles all of those views and ridges and the wall and the forts and everything it's wonderful time-consuming quite strenuous and <laughs> and definitely worthwhile. If that doesn't dry it out, I don't know what will. When the liberal fence beneath me gives way, I'm coming down to the stench of power and privilege, green quarters disappearing. Faster than the paper thin and tattered scraps of hope They damn the modest family to God fear and chains of work Nostalgia is the king here, everyone looks back The 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, God knows how we laughed Let's go and see that band again, that old vicarious pride Some tribute to the real thing from before the music died God no, 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 no Bit of a dreaded road walk here, I'm afraid. Chester's Roman Fort, Silvernum. And uh, I think it's got the remains of a bridge over the river down in the corner there. It's a pity I'm uh, not going into the fort because I think I quite enjoy uh, learning about it and seeing it all up close. But uh, if you want to do the Hadrian's Wall path, from start to finish and visit all the forts well you might need 10 days or so <laughs> just because it takes so long but um so on we go i'm nearly at Cholliford now um and i'm looking for a bite to eat found somewhere a nice little cafe right by the bridge so stop here for a quick sandwich and then carry on i've got about nine miles left to go to the place where I'm camping. Um, it's going to be steeply uphill uh, on the other side of the river and then a pretty straight uh, boring road to be honest um, so it's going to be a bit of pavement pounding unless it dives off onto the grass left and right like it did before. hope so. So um, just wait for my sandwich and then I'm going to push on. Sorry couldn't resist, I'm hungry so I took a bite already. 
Here we go then. Up over the bridge. That's the way I came up over the top there through those trees and then down to the river. I'm quite high up on the other side of the river now, a bit of lane walking. This is plain trees and a section of the wall where it transitioned from being 10 feet wide to 8 feet wide to build faster and more economically apparently but these parts of wall are thinning out now as we get lower uh, and heading towards the coast I'm not sure how many more of them there are actually but um, on we go I said as the land gets lower towards the coast but that's generally speaking you've still got a few sharp ups like this and the one before plane trees Whew. Nice grassy turf to walk on and it's uh, soft underfoot too so very comfortable. Uh, cross the road once or twice along the way here comes a car racing over the top of the wall. <laughs> I'm on the south side at the moment in between the wall and the vallum so I'm in the militarised zone. <laughs> Trees down in there temporary diversion it's not too far though up here then I made it here I am at the Robin Hood another 22 mile day <laughs> oh dear, I'm tired now but um, I'm actually wild camping at the back of the pub in a facility they've got have to use the toilets in the pub and there's no showers but it's only five quid here's my pitch I'm all set up the grass is fluffy and dry so that's the end of day three and it was an exhilarating morning on the ridge and uh, a less than exhilarating afternoon but it wasn't uh, unpleasant it was a nice grassy sward to walk along so I've done it I'm here and that's the end of day three see you tomorrow <laughs>